What's happening, guys? Uh, welcome to a new side segment of the Power Project podcast. We call it uh, the OnlyFans. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that type of OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, this segment is going to be between myself and Captain. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know Captain by now from yes. uh, watching all of our other videos. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm not dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Mayu. I'm pretty sure you known me if you haven't then yes now you do yes, and in this segment uh, we'll be talking about mostly sport related things uh but since it's a uh, our first episode we're going to narrow it down to just premier league and champions league stuff captain how's the weekend of football for you uh it was very enjoyable you know uh i like, got to see my team win uh for like those who don't know i am an arsenal fan and Mayo is a Liverpool fan, so if yeah, so even if there is some bias, yeah, so you must like please like excuse us, but yeah, we are gonna try to be un unbiased as humanly possible. No, we just might even invite some other fans, you know, to so come and give their own perspective. Yeah, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, so let's go. So like, like let's dive into it. Servicing Wan Bissaka and Mainu! Oh, it's beautiful! Can't be Mainu! Kicking it off with the Premier League and all the different matches that happened this weekend. I know we're doing it late into the year and the Premier League is more or less just finished, but. Uh, uh, with uh, us. Uh, oh, man, I'll do, I'll do, let's see. There was Tarkin at the most peak. Oh, like the drama inside the Premier League, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like most peak drama Premier League, yeah. Yeah. So the first game up, City versus Palace. What an interesting game it was, because mm -hmm. at one point in the game, I actually thought Palace were gonna come back. I okay. thought they, I had faith in them. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, so you can never have faith against Man, against Man City. Man City are just. A, 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 yeah, like that's a different breed of team. Yeah, I'm but you can see, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I can see that Palace scored first. Then it was just man, man, um, like Man City just took control of the game. Kevin Bruyne had two goals. Hal then scored. Bruyne, oh, man. Yeah, then I like, yeah. Uh, yeah, but to be honest, I uh, so like you so like uh, like like uh, like really uh, like Crystal Palace have been playing better com uh, like uh, like uh, so like uh, like compared to when they were still under Roy Hudson with like uh, so like this new manager. Like I like thought that they played better. I like think that. Even though right uh, right now they are like fourteenth place, they are like five points off of like, the relegation places. I I I I think that they are pretty much secured to so like to play in, like uh, like in like so in, in uh, like in, in like so in at the Premier League next uh, next season. So I, I think. I the thing that their season is pretty, pretty, pretty much secure that like it's done that there is nothing really worth fighting for like so like they've only drawn twice in like their last five prim prim league games so like so like so like, like I'm saying that they lost three of them so there isn't really much you can say about them now. I I think it's just we just give give this new man this new manager like a like a, a chance. Full, yeah so like we give them a full uh, ch uh transfer uh, what a word for window to work with uh, yeah yeah then yeah uh yeah then like, we we'll see from next season what about you. Uh, I mean, you. I also have to agree with you in that sense. I feel that they have too much of talent with Edward, Eze, and Olise. Even though Olise is injured, I think you know Eze can make up for the ground. I think you know just 
for them just to save relegation it should be more or less easy yeah. i mean you never know i still want <laughs> luton to stay in the league I, st- i don't know i just want i want luton to stay i don't i don't like luton but i like their football it's weird and it's it, it reminds me of how leeds used to be in their mm. first season when they came back mm. and i kind of like it even even though you know <laughs> they're an annoying team to play against yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still, yeah, I want them to stay. So for Crystal Palace, even though it's more or less in, if you look at them uh, over the years and how they save relegation, as you said, I feel no, they can they can save it. As for City, yeah, bro, yo, City are just City are just man, just I, a different breed of team. So like, I can always say. We always say that is the year that City are gonna fall off, but like, but like, but like never fall off, bro. Like, like they never fall off. Never fall I can't off. lie. My opinion, City is not. They not eat the season, but mm. the fact that they have De Bruyne in their team, yeah. they don't. Need De Bruyne and leave alone. If De Bruyne is not there, there's still other players that can hold up. Like, mm. I'm. It's gonna. This is an unbiased opinion, but Doku is not at the level that to replace Mares yet. So mm. I feel, although he got four assists and a goal in one game, that's not Mares was too influential for them, and Doku is not doing it. Grealish is half half there. Yeah. Oh, Foden influential, very influential. Same with Bernardo Silva, <laughs> Rodri as well. Right. So I like. I feel like. Like what's the word? I feel like, I feel like as long as Rodri is inside the team, yeah, I feel, I, I, I feel like out of City's first team, that so their best player is like it is no like not their best best. Uh, well, this season, yes, I can agree. It's Rodri. Oh yeah, this okay. season the best player is Rodri. Hmm. But I, I, but I, I, I can say that. Yeah, when City have Rodri, like I would have to say the team teams have a better chance of like playing or like winning against them. But, but like as long as they have Rodri, then like it's almost like I I would I wouldn't say like, like I I I I wouldn't say like a guarantee, but like but like I would say that like it's like a sixty percent chance that they like City are gonna win that game. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the so, thing is with Rodri because of the way City play, they play with like three centre backs and then two defensive midfielders. Mm. I think Rodri being that that like more of a heavy pivot where he goes in, he rushes, he I won't say rush, but he goes, he puts pressure on. I think it allows because if he's there and not any other defensive midfielder or you know anyone else, if Rodri is in that. That aggressive pivot, then I feel that you have that front five, or I don't know what ten. They have more space to do what they want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, the thing is, even though I can say Haaland is not eat the season, I yeah, would say he's not eat the season. No, because the fact that like the nine, fact that he has yeah, nineteen goals, like he has nineteen goals, like so. I mean, I mean, I like feel like last season was like a just. Like a would I like would you say uh, like a normally, but I would like I would call it normally because I mean last season he scored a lot of the goals he scored he had to do it in, like he did it by himself this season there's no chances for him to do it himself every time he does it himself he either loses the ball or he doesn't get the goal he's like like if you have it's not to say he's a bad player <laughs> but I'm not really keen to say he's a league two player now. Right, that's yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, no. that's a bit empty. But mm. uh, I won't say that he is the best striker in the league this season. But okay, I like I hear. Okay, I like I hear you because I I think Oli Watkins has like been like mm. the best striker. Yeah, as in that's a nice way to move to the next game. Brentford three, Aston Villa three. Yo. Okay, let me just say, right? Let me okay, let me uh, just say, right? Like, so when Emery, like, uh, 
like so that was like five years ago like when emery was managing arsenal i think it was a, i think it was in his first season so we also played well during the so we also played well during the middle part of the season right then yeah. like then so they you know like playing well but I think it was closer to like the business end, right? We like when uh, 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 the reality came in. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, uh, we have to show to have the minerals. So like to qualify for top four. Back, uh, back, uh, back when we was at Arsenal, like back in that season, so they like, kind of fall off. Now I see Villa. They've only won one, uh, one game in the in the, like their last five. They like the drawn two and they two. They're basically bottling the Champions League spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was more or less secured, and now it's yeah, open yeah. to. Mm. But like the only person that so they can bottle it to is that is Tottenham, because I like think United are way too far. So yeah, no yeah. offense to them, but every every bit of offense to them as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, but, but like, but like, talking, like, did you watch this game? Because this this game was like crazy. Because, like, I didn't watch it because I was watching the city game, but I did see the highlights. And Ollie Watkins, yo, yeah, yeah. Mm. the only striker that comes close to him this season is uh, Solanke, in my opinion. Wow, so you are like saying that Solanke has a better season than Holland, yeah. <laughs> For Bournemouth, even when Bournemouth play bad, he's scoring. And he's scoring out of nothing. And it's a Bournemouth. Because yeah. I feel like like last season, mm. uh, Haaland had 36 goals. But I feel Kane had a better season than him. Because Kane, in a Tottenham, they didn't finish in, in Champions League or Europa League. He still scored 30. Mm. Yo, that was crazy. That's a, yeah. <laughs> but like this, uh, right. Uh, but like, look at this, uh, like this game. Uh, Villa were two 0 up. Then, like Brentford thought that they had done a comeback, made it. And it's not a score again. Yeah, then, like, what? what uh, like, then uh, what? Uh, like, then, yeah. So I would like think that this, uh, this is two points dropped for Villa rather than one point gained. And, but like, let's talk about Brentford. You know, Brentford this season, season have been. Very underwhelming. Yeah, they've been very underwhelming. Like, and I put to love that season. And I yeah. feel like I feel like I can't really blame them because he's missing uh Tony for like how the sea season. Then like, they also have like lots of lot lots of in players out. So you can and they lost of, players like Star and Mbomo too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of see why that they fall off but like the kind of fall off to this extent was a little bit surprising because they are only 15th and they're only like four uh, like four points ahead of like the relegation places so they can easily still kind of get you know relegated yeah 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 but and it's not like they've been playing bad in the season they just haven't been enough Mm. Uh, speaking of enough, I I don't know how it goes so far under the radar, but I can't lie to you. I don't remember Wolves playing a single game this season. I don't remember watching a <laughs> game of Wolves. It's just like I remember a score. I remember Pedro Neto cooking Gomez in one game, and then that was it. I don't remember anything else from Wolves. Mm, feel like the fact they lost again. I don't even know where they are on the table. Wait, wait. Don't even let me check. I think Wolves are 11, so they are pretty much a mid they say, they, They're not where they want to be, but... Yeah, but I would I say that they are pretty much a mid-table team. But, like, they've won 12 games, they've lost 13, they've drawn 6. So you can say it's a pretty much mid-season for them. So you can kind of... Do, it's an average season. Yeah, average. Yeah, Very average. Yeah, but so you like you believe, but have to remember that like they lost their manager at at the start of the season. What was his name? Julian, what was that guy? 
Yeah, yeah. And then they also lost the key players like <laughs> they lost Jimenez. Mm. No, but like, but like West Ham won that match, and they and were lost directly from a corner kick. <laughs> yeah, wow, man, James was pro. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like he has to get picked for the England squad. In my opinion, it's gonna sound very weird, but in my opinion, ever since Juninho, not even Beckham, ever since Juninho retired, I feel the best free kick taker, bar Messi, is Ward Prowse. <coughs> I don't see any other free kick taker that can take a free kick and put it pinpoint in the top corner as Ward Prowse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time, too, not like once or twice, every single time. Mm. Mm. Oh, can... not even Reiner could do that. Not Trent. Not not. I don't see anyone apart from Ward Prowse doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So like, that he doesn't have legs to run. He's just so mm. slow. Mm. 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 Well, yeah. Then, uh, so remember that uh, according to the like new UEFA coefficient rules. If uh, a place might win a Champions League spot for next season, so yeah, so I yeah, so I because uh, of the introduction of uh, a bigger league system rather than thirty six teams, they're having well, not sixty. They might I can't remember what they're having. Yeah, I can't remember, and it's no more like group stages and stuff. It's going to be a league. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But I say that for. A separate video, but <laughs> yeah, but we can see that this win takes West Ham up to seventh. They are only one point behind Man United, who are in sixth. I like feel like they are feel like there aren't enough games for them to really make a push for like fifth place. Like, place. Okay. Europa League definitely. Yeah. At least they retain the Europa League spot. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I think they only so I, I think that they are pretty much qualified. I'm um, not I'm not um, not qualified, but like they are pretty much inside your your uh, like your uh, like Europe. You if, uh, any Europe European. Mm. Yeah, so I, mean, so I like I think that they are pretty much good good uh, like good for that. So, yeah, but so what are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I'll have to agree. The thing, the only, the only, the only thing I can say apart from that is that if they start going on a losing streak towards the end, because if they choke, but other than that, I think at least Europa League. I don't see them in conference. I think they can at least push past conference. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only, the only competitor I see there is uh, so. the winner of the next game, <laughs> Newcastle versus Fulham. I see the only competitor that they, to push them out of Europa League is, is Newcastle. So, <laughs> yeah, at one so, point, uh, we thought they were going to do it again last, like what they did last season. Okay. Uh, like operation time, I hate Newcastle. And I did. No, I, I, I also hate Newcastle. I, I, hate, I hate the Magpies. I, I, like, I want them to lose so much. So, it, like, it brings me so much joy to, like, to see that, so they aren't uh, uh, like so that like so like the others who that they were last season, but I never really hate Newcastle because because of really, like the uh, thing is with me, I hate Newcastle, but I like players. I like a lot of players from there. Like, <laughs> I mean, I like uh, like Isak. I really like him as a striker. I feel uh, if we didn't get, it, I feel you guys should have got him, but you all wasted an opportunity with that two seasons. If you had Isak, you would have been a different team now. Mm-hmm. Uh. If you had, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you had Isak, you wouldn't have the problem with the attacking threat. Even though you have a good, you guys have a good attack, but all of your goals are not coming from your attack. They're coming from everyone equally. Yeah. Everyone in the team is scoring. Yeah. So, but, yeah, but uh, let's go focus we'll get to- on Newcastle. Yes. Newcastle, yeah. I like Isak. I like uh, Dan Byrne. I feel he's a good player. And the thing is, if you look at the team that they have, it's not. You know, it's not City. They did yes, they spent money, but they have Trippier who's old, they have Dan Byrne who's tall and slow, he's a centre back and they're playing him at left back. They have Joe Linton. Yes, they have Bruno Guimaraes, but 
he's he's not he's not Rodri, you know. He's not like it's not like all of a sudden Newcastle got a takeover, then they're gonna be the new PSG. Yeah, I know. Anyhow, came in and I feel like Woody's system, although it's they're not in Champions League anymore, I still feel it's a successful season for them. Although a lot of money spent, but it's not it's not money that they they can't get back or they didn't earn because they sold Saint Max, they sold so a lot of players. But okay, personally, I feel like this season. Since compared to last season, when at the end the Champions League, I feel like it's a like the disappointing season. I feel like the only thing that could have made it better is if they were still in the FA Cup and like, they had the chance to win a trophy, which so like so which they won't. Yes. So, yeah. I also so, I, feel that. Like, I, I feel like because of the because of the highs of last season. This is a really expectations are too high now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, but right, but I look, but like, but I, but I look at the that squad, right? So they have a lot of like players that will be good in like two, like three years. You know, like the Bodman, Tino, like yeah, yeah. this. this is left. I still feel Willock can play well. They have Gordon. Hey, Gordon uh, is a player. Yeah. So Willock. So like, so like, so they do have players. They have the depth mm. for the future. So they, so like, they have a core of players. You know, Sandro Tonali. I feel like I, I, I like I, I feel like they've also been you know, riddled by like injuries this season. Where like they were like they really had had like had like, the core quality to bring up the bench to to like you know help them win games. So I I feel like next season they should improve. I think they will improve. I I like think that they will have to like to not like comp like so like like uh, like not uh, like not like completely change uh, like uh, like change the squad, but like you know so like they have to like improve. Pick like, off in the place where they need to. the squad. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so yeah, so that is, is it for Liverpool. I mean, for Newcastle. I also feel Fulham. Fulham drop points. The way they played, I've seen the highlights and I've seen the amount of chances they had. I feel they could, they should have won that game, but they didn't. Mm. Now Fulham, yeah, in, Fulham are in thirteenth, uh, so they are really going to fight for Europe at this stage. I feel like, like it's another, like another. Mid table season, I mean, mid table, table club, you know, that nothing really to write home about them. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, uh, Fulham, I feel like that I like, I feel like they really have like a mid table club, I mean, mid table team. So they still sort of like, so they, so they like, don't really have any like exciting young, uh, like, uh, like the players that you're like. Okay, so if uh, those improves gonna want to leave, I feel like, like yeah, I feel, feel like feel like feel like it's a mid-table club that is just performing to like so their expectations. Yeah, it's but not like they play bad ball too because you saw the game, the yeah. game versus Fulham. They play really good ball. It's just that they have no stability. Mm. They like one game they play incredible and they win. Another mm. game they play incredible and they just don't get any chances through. I feel like their creativeness is coming too much. They're relying too much on William and uh, Andreas Pereira. Other than if a team were to were to to shut them out completely or play in the counter, then they're out of it completely. Mm. Mm. But but like I also feel like they have the the the, the like ability to really shock to really shock a team. You know, for instance. That's a tournament against Arsenal, like, yeah, I feel like, so, like, they have the, like, ability, you know, same as Newcastle, so, you know, to kind of really, be like, you know, hurt teams sometimes, but, like, that's only, like, sometimes, yeah. And moving on, let's, uh, let's talk about Luton yeah, versus Burnley. Oh, you're going to talk, okay, Luton versus Burnley, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Mm. 
Ja, Bournemouthen 2, Bournemouth 1. Do you also think Luton will like, no, I like, feel like, I mean, Luton, uh, they're in 18th place. They had to, like, they have 25 points. North North and Forest have 20, 25 points. And I and I have bitten at twenty seven points. So do you like think Luton can like, stay up? I want them to stay up. I want I want Everton to go. <laughs> As a level person, I want Everton to disappear, to despawn, <laughs> to like to go into the trenches and not come back. <laughs> I absolutely hate them and I, weird enough, like you watch Luton play, they don't play good football, but they get goals. Like mm. It, they, their football is uh, they play a five back they play three defensive uh, three defensive players two attack you can see a, an alternation between an attacking fullback wing back and a defensive wing back uh, it really depends on who they're playing and also they have they have three midfielders and just you know, just two attackers they mm. like they try to move the ball from counter attacks and then I was watching when Luton played against City and it worked on some occasions but, uh, but I'd say like it, although you say the football is not good, the one thing that they do have is defensive stability. The only problem is that's all they have. So to it gets to a point where you can't defend the whole game. There's 90 minutes. You're not a, you're not in a Sam Allardyce team where you can defend for 90 minutes yeah, and yeah. still get away with results. Yeah. <laughs> so. I think that's the only reason why they're sitting in the position they are. Although they did score, they had a lot of games where their attacking threat was really good. Where like mm. that fourth game against Arsenal, that one-one game against us, where they controlled most of it, and they have players that can uh, really work their attack. Like Barkley, signing of Barkley was a crazy signing. They have, um, uh, they have Chong, Chong. Um, so yeah, it's Morris the- captain. They have a lot of players, and it's just that, you know, they're a championship team. They stay. They don't have the funds to compete. To like, mm. they have the spirits. Don't get me wrong. It's just that they're not enough. But I want them to stay so that they can get that that you know that uh, the motivation to do it again next season. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely, definitely. So I feel like Luton. I I feel like Luton are just like I feel like they are just a chair they are just a chair team. They have the uh, like the spirit, they have the fire, so you can like see like in the way that they so want to play that so if they just had better players, they could be a like a like a really good I know, so they like really, so they like be like a problem, so they like really be like like a good mid-table team, you know. But I they don't. I and think they can surprise you at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, and so you and 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 you can't really turn around your fortunes within one like uh, like it's one year at the Premier League. But mm, I, not even at Leicester. <laughs> mm, mm. But I, need, I, but I like I think that they could be like a like a really good yo-yo team, you know, the same as Norwich. Like so, like they always come up, they go down, they come up, they go. Yeah. So I, I like I think that if they do go down this season, then you will see them in like two seasons time again. Mm. Yes, I feel. Uh, but I, in my opinion, when I if I see um, loot, if I see Luton going down, I don't. In my view, I don't see them coming back up. I feel it'll be too much. I feel like while they should stay, if they can stay up now, mm. while they on this roll going forward, it'll be it'll be good for them because if you look at clubs that did go down and haven't come back, like Bolton, um, Wigan, uh, Blackburn, Swansea, and Swansea. Uh, Ready, Cardiff. Cardiff. Once yeah. they went down, they, it was too much for them to come up. It, it's, it's not like they are like how. It's not like how they are. How do I say? It's not like 
they're not doing what list is doing so like list are right now it's on top of the log yeah and although they went down they didn't let it put them down they on top of the log and they looking to come straight back into the premier league now let's talk about bournemouth that yeah what did you say about bournemouth i feel it's a it's a it's a normal bournemouth results in my opinion i feel like they win some they lose some and yeah. it's not like they they're not too so like, yeah, so like, yeah so like they're only uh like like so like so there were only three match winning streak though so. yeah they got so, put uh, like, they came to luton stadium and they got overwhelmed yeah yeah but they they disappointed but they are safe from relegation so like so yeah, so I like have to say about Bournemouth I really, really do like I really, like really do like uh like to their manager mm, feel like mm, mm, mm. I, they have a good I also feel like they have a good structure as a team not just uh mm. I just need I think they just need to build on it and then they can if they if they can build on the same team now and just work it especially with the way how uh, Dominic Solanke is on form as well uh Yeah, Dominic Solanke and a couple other of the attacking midfield players that are on form. If they can just work on it, as you said, with the managers and the managers' tactical, uh, uh, his tactical advances. Hopefully, he can work on his own, uh, you know, his own tactics, his own in his own players' uh, relationships. Hopefully, mm-hmm. build a better understanding with his squad, and then if they can do it, they can push to maybe a top half team. Who knows? Even maybe a uh, Conference League team. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. A few moments later. Go to us. Yeah, let's go to your game. Yeah, my game. Right then. No, Arsenal three. Uh. So I watched this game. Let's start. Let's start. I just want to say, I feel this season Brighton are not there. They're not it. I feel Deserby. Is is not? I won't say he's losing the plot, but he's losing his team to fatigue. I feel. I feel like not getting in. I feel losing the likes of McAllister and Casado was a big hit on him, and I feel this season they've been poor. I like also feel like right now they have been poor. Like I, 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 I think they had a better start to the season, but as of right now. I feel like they aren't playing as well as they did. Yeah, but... I, I feel like... They, could, like... they qualified for the Conference League last season. I was like the Europa League. I was the Europa League. Europa League. Yeah, yeah. So like, they qualified for the Europa League. Then they didn't really do well in the Europa League. I, I, I think they got beat by... Uh, West Ham. Why do we? Let me go check. Wait. Let me go check. But yeah, as you're saying, uh, you can say they haven't been. Like, yeah, they no, have like like no, yes, no. they have do, they do have players, but a lot of their players are like they're not. You know, they have Lalana, they have Milner, they have Welbeck. How old are those players? Now mm. they are playing well. It's just that you can't sell off McAllister. You can't sell off Casir. What? Michaelis is what 23 24 Kaiser is 22 mm. you can't sell off all of your young players who else did they sell they sold Ben White to you guys they sold yeah, yeah. they sold they sold one of the best attackers they sold Trossard they sold uh they sold a lot of players and they haven't been replacing them fast enough like mm. how did Matoma's been injured yeah, they've yeah. been a, it's been a little bit of a struggle you can mm. say Yeah, but but they have a lot of good oh uh, like uh, like uh, 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 like players, you know, Chow, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro yeah. Billy Gomo. So they have, they have but a lot they of the depth to come in and make miracles too quickly. Hmm. Then I also feel like they've also been hit by a lot of like in like like the in. Like in luxurious, like feel like, uh, like feel like, feel like, feel, feel like I've said that for almost three years. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but I can kind of see that. 
feel like I uh, feel like I can read read uh, reach much into the season. I feel like they, they can still make a like a comeback to the end the season or let me, let me go check the last remaining fix fix uh, fix to it. So like so like they have Burnley next they burn next, yes. Yeah. Chelsea, Man City, okay, feel like they will okay, Too easy like, team city. Yeah, I feel like they will so like so like they have Burnley, Chelsea, Man City, Bournemouth, Bella, Newcastle, Man United. Oh. The only the only team I see where they can hundred percent get guaranteed points off there is Burnley. Mm, 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 mm. So they have a tough end to like the season season. After playing Liverpool and Arsenal back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that must have been tough. So I like I don't think you can really read uh, like to read too much into it this season. I feel like they will be I, I like feel like I feel like it like it's gonna be disappointing that they didn't qualify for Europe again. But there's now thinking that like the like we're about is when like so when like so when they have half of the team out. So yeah, we're not gonna talk about this. Then let's That's talk about Arsenal. Point, uh, right and play. But yeah, it's it's tough for every team to lose players to injuries. And then, then we get your team. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, right, so I uh, right, so I watched this game. Did you watch this game? Uh, I did. I did with my brother. My brother's an Arsenal supporter, if people don't know, so I did watch the game. Yeah. Okay, I feel like this was a really... It was a routine game for us, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I... It was a game I feel, like I feel, I feel, feel a lot game of... where they needed to go and do something special to win. I felt like they won the game as if they won every other game this season mm-hmm. in a routine manner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I... I, mean, I feel like a lot of teams were... Yeah. No, I... Uh, men, uh, like, Man City fans, Liverpool fans were seeing this game, as you know. Where's uh like uh where's they like like they can slip up, they can you know lose I mean like drop points by like went and beat uh they, like, beat them three 0 and like, I feel like we are kind of on the, the, the estimating like like the goal difference like uh right now it's Arsenal and. Liverpool they're on the same points, but Arsenal have a better goal difference. So big margin. Mm. So I really feel like one of Arsenal's best best I uh, like uh like I feel like so they like uh so like uh like so they have uh so their best uh, like aspect this season has been the defense. Like uh so at I mean like at the beginning so they weren't really scoring as much, right? But but so like they had a stable defense. You know, because I wouldn't say it's hundred percent the defense. I still say you guys have a, a very shaky left hand side, but I would say it's the introduction of Rice that allows players to give to, to give more trust to the defense. Mm-hmm. Declan Rice, oh in my opinion, yeah, apart what? from what? Apart from uh, for okay for the money paid, you can say it's fair what he's producing. Mm. But in my opinion, only two players I can see you can you can only two defensive midfielders you can name this season that comes anywhere close to him, and he still leads the way. And that's Rodri, and obviously it's going to be biased. I'm going to say Endo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. price for Endo, mm. yeah. but I won't. I won't. I won't take it away from the fact that yes, it's a hundred and what, hundred five million. Oh. It's a lot of money, but oh. hundred and five well, million like from a team who bottled it last season to a team who's still on top of the log right now. I mm. think it's worth hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like a lot of players have like been bought for that sort of money. You know, Grealish, Enzo, Bellingham. And uh, the thing is, very few players put yeah. out what the money worth is. Mm, mm, mm. So I, I feel like Rice, like he has every 
quality to be an Arsenal legend. I feel like he has every quality to be a, a, a team captain. No team as your new vice captain, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I can see it as well. I've been saying the same thing for uh, to my brother. I've been saying, you know what? Rice has leadership qualities. It's not the fact you didn't buy any player. You guys bought a captain. Mm. Like how we bought Endo, we bought the captain of Stuttgart, we bought the captain of Japan. We didn't just buy any midfielder, we bought a captain, a leader in the midfield. You guys bought a leader in the midfield and that's an important thing. Mm. And Rice is, the thing is, everyone everyone can look at him as an English player and think, oh no, it's a defensive, English defensive midfielder has to be a Brexit player. It's not, <laughs> it's really, his technical ability is really, really high. Yeah. Yeah. From his time at West Ham, where he led West Ham to the the Conference League, the first European trophy, I think it's their first ever, if I'm not mistaken, or it could be their first in a while. I really don't know the West Ham law. <laughs> but I feel like, I feel the most important change to Arsenal this season is not the introduction of a new system, is not, definitely not Raya, because I feel Raya and Ramsdale are in the same level. I feel Ramsdale is still really good. It's just that Arteta doesn't trust him enough. Um, Imagine that. the one mistake he makes is in a game where he hasn't played in how long. Yeah. I feel you need yeah. to trust him because Kelleher makes mistakes, but we have to trust him because mm. Allison is injured. Mm. I mean, you saw, the, you saw the mistake he made against Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we still trust him and he made a lot of good saves. I feel if you trust your keeper well enough, then, you know, yeah, you you get the best out of him, but I feel like the biggest change is not any of those players. It's not Trossard either. It's not Havertz. It's 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 Rice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 like if feel like he's a once in a like would you say he's a gen, I like would you say he's a gen, like, a, like like that's a bit much yeah, for yeah. now. Now it's a bit much. If you if you guys do come out with a trophy this season, then maybe you can put him in that category. But for now, it's a bit much. You can say, but it's it's. But, but, but let me say that it's a bullseye. It's a bullseye signing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you so you so you can really say that he like was really like the missing piece for us. I feel you still need more players. I think you need a better left back. Tomiyasu is there. He's a right back and he's playing left back and he's good at it, but he's injured a lot. Zinchenko really? is oh, okay. lost. Okay. So you, I, he's split the gaps so, now. But so, okay. so I really, I really think that you want like, like, so you like, 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 Showed us that oh that I am that like like I am here to replace Zinchenko, so like I am like, here to replace uh, like Zinchenko, right? But but like but I had the AZT out here and like he missed like so like uh like uh, like so many months and so he, like he might not be like, the same player when he comes back. But you I just give you full time. Hmm? What is it? Are you saying you just give him some more time? Yeah, so I I I really think like that when he comes back and like, he's able to like adjust to playing again and like he's able to you know really uh uh use like uh, you know get uh get in a run of games he like has that left uh like he like, has the left back spot covered then i like i think that the only other up uh, like, up, uh, like upgrade that we can make is like the midfield and like a striker but like I important most i think more important than that left back look i respect gabriel jesus but he's not a striker when i play when i watch him play at city i always thought you know he's going to be sort of this person that moves more to the wing and aguero was the main striker yeah now if you have Martinelli and Saka, you can't have three wingers on the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Like, mm, yeah, yeah. But like, let's move on. I to say, sell Jesus. I feel if you have a better striker, if you get like a a, a, a serious number nine, mm. maybe Jesus will compete for it for his spot back. Like mm. how we got Gakpo and Nunez competed more for his spot, and now Nunez is performing the season. Mm. 
Mm. I feel like you just need competition. Mm. Well, yeah, competition. Mm. All right, but moving on. Um, okay. So like, so we have three more games left, but let's get the most boring one out out of the way. Tottenham beats Forest three one. You know, yeah. um, my opinion. Really to say about Forest, yeah. except that I like think that if it's like, it's those, expected out away from home, you know, uh, I feel like mm, I, I feel like if they don't fix up, that they might get relegated. I feel like they have too like uh, like too much of a good team to get relegated compared to Luton. And they spend way too much of money to get relegated. It's so easily. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. But like, uh, but like, but like, let's talk about like Spurs. So they move up to fourth. We have sixty points left. So they're the only ones that like to play. Man, no, it's like them in Wolves. They like still have Man City, Liverpool, and Arsenal left. So I like, feel like they have. I feel like if they lose all those games, right? There's like nine points. Well, I can take this part back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I like, yeah. So I like think they're gonna win one, like win one or two of those games. But so like, but like, but that guy. But my honest opinion, I think they're gonna lose all three. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They play Liverpool at Anfield. Arsenal are too good to play right now, and I feel De Bruyne will tear them apart. Mm-hmm. Madison is good, and centre back. Ven is really good, but yeah. I feel when I can tear them apart. I, in my yeah. opinion, I really think they will lose all three games. But Spurs are Spurs, and yeah. with the introduction, really you know, I think Ven has been a successful loan player. Uh, he's he scored in important games, and then even in this game, he created a goal, which he mm. took a shot, which led to a goal. So I feel like he's not the best number nine to 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 walk in a Tottenham shirt. Mm. But and he's not a new Harry Kane, but he's doing the little bit. He's, 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 he's yeah. doing something. Yes, it's not like Joao Felix who came to Chelsea, and then he, yo. <laughs> I I think he's got only one goal or something like that. I don't even know if it's. I can't even remember. All I remember is like in his debut, he got sent off, <laughs> and then the next game he got sent off again. <laughs> That's all I remember. And he's advert for EA Sports. He hates sports. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on. Let's go to uh, let's go to my game. Okay. No, okay. I okay. Okay, so let me go to your, your game. I feel, I feel we dropped points. I feel we dropped points. I feel we had so many chances in the first half. We didn't take them. We only took one chance, and we gave. We made two mistakes that led to both the goals. Mm-hmm. And then, because, right? Okay. I I'm looking at the stats here, right? So you guys had 28 shots. Yes. 28 shots, but you only had seven on them on target or that target on the target, right? And so like, whereas United they had five shots on target, you guys had 62. Percent of the position, like this was a game that if you had money, for me, no, that that you won this game three nil. No. I feel the, okay, that's they, also correct, but I feel like I feel, in my opinion, from the start of the game, I feel Klopp made the wrong decision. I feel I like Kwanzaa. I always I always praise Kwanzaa for being a good player, but I feel in this type of game, you need to play Konate. You need mm. someone as good as Konate, and he didn't, and it costed us. Mm. A lot of people blamed Endo. A lot of people blamed like I've seen a lot of people blame our midfield, but it wasn't our midfield. Mm. Our midfield did well, especially McAllister. McAllister cooked alone. It was him <laughs> playing alone in that midfield. So it was like did his job. It's not to say that so Bosley didn't play well. He played really well. It's just that there were too many players in the United defensive half, mm. Mm. and. If you have if you have a team pushing up forward like that, we need Konate there. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, Kwanza was a victim of his own expectation. He passed the straight to Bruno and yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So speaking on Man United now, they moved to sixth place. 
Uh, do you think they can make it to like, the top four? No. My opinion, zero. There's no top. Basically, getting a zero per league this season. I feel uh, I feel that they have too much of problems in the club. I feel, I, you know, people are going to hate me for saying this, but I feel Bruno's not a good captain. I oh, feel. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I like, always have to like, like, agree, but like, they have to look at the way that he's always stepped up. Like, he always gets he's a good old. player, yes, but he's a good but, player to lead an attack, but to lead a team, no. Mm, mm. I feel like, you know, like you can say uh, for Arsenal, Saka always helps, he leads the attack, he gets a goal when they need it, but would you make him captain? No, 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 no. 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 Liverpool, Salah is obviously it's Salah. No, but I, would I make him captain of the team? No. You need to have a player who, ha- who has a mindset that's going to be like, you know what, if you guys are not going to be, if you guys are not in line, I'm going to put you guys in line. Bruno is not that type of player. <laughs> And it's not just him. I'm not attacking Bruno. I'm saying it's all, in my opinion, it's a lot of, a lot of modern day attacking midfielders. You can't, I feel it, to make an attacker captain, it's very difficult. Mm-hmm. Same with De Bruyne. De Bruyne was captain of City and all of a sudden he's not. <laughs> it's, no, I feel like, no, I feel like was captain on sad, on a sad, on sad City's game. But, yeah, but I mean, United feel like Ten Hag, man. Feel like he's to get sacked. Feel like yeah. I, feel, one, and like, of course, always, there's a lot of players that lost their their aura, like like yeah, Rashford. Uh, My God, I haven't seen that. Like Rashford is, I haven't seen him. He was just walking the whole game. He made a few counters, but apart from uh, that, he was just walking. Mm, mm, this is but like, yeah, I feel like my United need to like need to move on. From like in Hag, we always say say this or like out like a few months, like 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 two seasons that like so they need to change their manager, then so they seem to change this and this. But I I feel like once they get rid of the glazers, you like yeah, have, yes, like, exactly. They have way too many internal problems, not just the manager. No problem. So yeah, I feel like yeah, feel I. I feel that I, I feel that to go and sort that out. And but the sad thing is, you, you're watching the game against Liverpool, you can see that you know in the second half, although we the, we are the ones who costed the, our goals. Mm. After the first, after they scored the equalising goal, you can you can tell that United can't play exciting football. They mm. have players who play exciting football. It's just that all of the they have one of the poorest mindsets in the top four, in the top six, and like. I mean, not to say all of the players do, mm. but a lot of them do. Like, mm. it's, it's mm. sad. Now, if if they had to have like, okay, apart from players like Mbainu, Kobe Mbainu, what oh. a player! Oh, man, what a, yeah. Did you see that goal, man? Oh, man, that goal was something else. Yeah, it was but something, it was something else. I like, can't lie, that was something else. It was. It's oh, even I, I was like, nah, that's a crazy goal. And you can say you can say that you know we got lucky with the penalty, but at the end of the day, it was their lack of concentration that caused the penalty. That was a clear as that penalty was clear as day. One Bisaka. Uh, I feel like I am going, going to have to like to disagree with you uh, on that. Uh, penalty. Yeah, I like. I feel like even like you look at it, right? So he makes contact, right? And I like, can lunge for like the ball, so I, I can see why I like, get the penalty. But like, I can feel like it's very soft and like, it's very fortunate. There's a lot of penalties that got away for more, for worse. We've yeah. we've got away. We've conceded. I don't know. We've conceded penalties for like for literally just tapping on the player. Yeah. And the thing is, the fact that Juan Bisaka completely missed the ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a huge reason why it's a penalty. The thing is, and and with one Bisaka, he's like slight tackle and inshallah. I haven't seen him play well since his Palace days. He's been relying on his slight tackle a lot, and when he does get it wrong, I mean, how many penalties did United concede? They conceded two against Chelsea and one against Arsenal. Three penalties in two games. Yeah, I feel like the defensive discipline is is a question. Yeah, I feel like really. 
like in the real like 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 in the well, you know, they have bad defenders but yeah. i mean would martinez out for so long they rely on a player that they hated all the time maguire they all all of a sudden now he's he's helping them and they don't hate him anymore season definitely is a good season season yeah then what uh, and johnny evans johnny evans is johnny yeah. evans is a dinosaur man 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 let me man let me let me let me tell you out of man city arsenal and the man city and and uh and and, and, and liverpool not a single one of them would have Johnny Evans as a center back that is starting almost every league game. I don't think like, Chelsea would have three, left. I don't think Spurs would have him. Yeah. I don't think Villa would have him. I don't think Newcastle would have him. Yeah, I feel like, man, I feel like, man, I feel like they need to, so they need to really look, uh, like, so, like, look at themselves and like, really plan the squad properly with a good manager and i think would more freedom in choosing the players that they want because uh, they do choose the players ten hag did have freedom he chose he chose martin as he chose anthony but like you like chose to buy carlos simero varan johnny evans I feel like man i like feel like my night does uh, like that like, like like sort of so they like that is sort out we are in like eternal problems yeah yeah and maybe and maybe get a a, bit, a different personality on the field maybe they need another player that you know defensive player that that can step up and be the captain mm. 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 like bruno is a good player i'm not saying bruno is a bad player he's a really really good player and i respect him for it but mm. i'm saying as a captain so i think they need a captain as well But let's move on to like our last game. Our final game. <laughs> Match week. Ah. Chelsea 2 to Sheffield United 2. To What's it? 1.1 okay. billion. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry. Quick, uh, the quickly. Sheffield United are going down. Like, 100%. I'm making them up there. Chelsea, like, man, like how many times are we going to say it say say the season and Chelsea are just Chelsea so like like Chelsea, Chelsea have so many good young uh, like players so they, many they got Sterling good. as well a, pl- a player from straight from City they got Nkunku Nkunku is such a crazy good player they got Madueke but like is in just right now so like like I feel like they have two, two, uh, like two, like, like, oh, uh, what they're saying, man. Too many players. I mean, no, too many cooks spoil the like a broth. I feel like, uh, yeah, too many. There's way too many individual players. There's eleven stars, but there's no team. Hmm. Hmm. Dev. 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 I feel like. I feel like poor. Uh, like I. I. Mm-hmm. I feel like Charles' new owners didn't know what like, uh, they like, were doing. They like they like so they like, were giving contracts seven years, eight years, nine years. Now like now like, what if they don't uh, like don't work out? Then like, they can't sell all these players because like uh, like um, like because like, what if they want to like to leave? And like, now like now they're gonna be stuck with these players. So, but like Chelsea's new, new lead, like it's new lead, like uh, new leadership, just suck. Like, yeah, I feel like the manager sucks. They are so like their squad is bad. The manager is bad. I feel everything is just downhill. Yeah, but so though we say that, right? Yes, Chelsea are still. Ninth place, and they're only like four points behind West Ham, two games in hand, right? So they like so like they can't even make. I mean, so like they can't make you like like the end of the season. So like like so they were in a 
he like so they were in the Carabao Cup final by like by like so like they literally they literally lost in like embarrassing fashion to like to club's kids. <coughs> mm-hmm. So like so like they are in the semi final with Man City in every cup, right? So who like knows? Maybe they like beat Man City. Maybe they win the every cup. Then like so then like, they get Europe through and like that. But anyway, but like anyway, if you look at Chelsea's uh remaining fixtures, it's ev- like it's ev- like it's ev- like, it's ev- like Everton, Brighton. Arsenal, Villa, Tottenham, West Ham, and Nottingham Forest. For these are all games. Oh, and also, uh, Bournemouth. These like feel like feel like they have Bournemouth. They can beat Forest. They can beat Burnley. Wait, no, no. Feel like every Britain they can. Uh, will they beat them? I feel like I feel like they might draw Brighton. I feel like they have games that they can they win. Have the, yeah, they have games in which they can win. Yeah, games. Yeah, so like they have games that that are that like can put that like that that uh, that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, they can help them. You know, uh, push up the tape table. But do they want to win those games? And, but like, can they win those games? I feel like if they manage to get Europe this season, people will say that oh, that like it's a good season. That they like that so they are like that so they are like a young squad. I feel like they shouldn't get you like so you like so Europe this season. I feel like if they did, that it like it like would only work against them because like because they, because they wouldn't be able to see their own problems. So once I like think that once they do figure, figure out their own problems, you know, once yeah, oh, uh, like once they get in, in like a really good manager who knows what he's doing, that so there's there's they like they like they like they like they like, 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 like really be a problem. They can like, really be a like, problem in the future. You know, three three four years down at the line, you know, Cole Palmer. Majdiweke, Roger, Jackson, these are all good exciting players that like if you give them the chance and 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 usually coach them correctly. That that so we like so we can need to like that I can see them coming back to like uh those uh, like those glory days, right? But like I uh, like right now. No, I, 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 I don't see it. Way too much of work. Yeah, I, I think that like, there's way too much work. Not enough time. I mean, 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 yeah, I mean budget. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. But like, I, I heard that they are under, uh, not FFP, but there's another thing. They are under the, some financial like play what what there so who likes the knows yeah right so that was our like our first episode of only fans no not that only fans yes and you can see that a man who chose that name is he laughing there yeah <laughs> yeah but i like hope you guys enjoyed it I like hope you guys uh you like like you always want to hear your thoughts. Yeah. So all right, that's all from us. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Cool.